Welcome to another video. Today we will be installing the Steeda IRS subframe bushings that are basically going to go right here. So this bolt's going to come out and then this little insert is going to go right in between where all these little rivets are lined up and then the bolt's going to be going to go on top of here. So hopefully this will get rid of all the slack that it has whenever you're trying to launch the car or just trying to do a really cool burnout. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and unbox this. Alright, so we'll be installing the rear ones first and the main difference between the rear and the front is that the rear ones have a recessed little edge right here and the front ones are pretty much solid. So once you get the rear ones, what you're going to do is, out of these three bolts, you want to get the longest one. And before you install it, make sure you put enough lubricant all the way around and inside these little inserts just to make it slide in a little bit easier. So you get your big bolt, get your washer, like so. And you insert your bolt and obviously that's going to be bolted up to the rear so if my car's over here and the rear's facing that way it's going to bolt in like that so these are the rear now for the front oh and don't let me forget also put some loctite especially with these suspension parts moving along to the front like i said it's just like a flat piece of aluminum you're going to get the medium bolt not the small one here's your washer that's going to go like so and once again, repeat the process, oil, Loctite, that'll be bolted into the front. And for the little tiny bolt, that's, I know, here's the front one, but here's the back one. So I know it's gonna be a bolt behind it, so what you're gonna do is remove the factory one and put the smaller one in because um, if that factory one was still there, it's gonna hit this, so even if you bolt it down, it'll probably stick out like that. So these guys, you know, actually did the engineering and they cut it off or whatever, use a smaller bolt so it can fit perfectly. Once you get all that done, you're pretty much done.
June bugs, bro. See? <laughs> I'll get it again. Ow, it's like strong, dude. Watch dude, out. Dude. Watch out. Now we know how to do it. Well, we can do it on your car a lot easier. You just take off the exhaust. Ah, uh, no, mine's a little bit more difficult. We got to get the stupid suffering braces. Thank mm -hmm. you. 